Hello, let's start by explaining the project that I developed with the module ESP32. This module has some unique features such as a two-core processor, which allows you to work with multiple tasks using free RTOS. To carry out this development, I have tried different development platforms. First I have used the Arduino IDE, which is completely valid for the purpose. Although I think it is much better to use the Visual Studio code with the platform EO extension. Basically because it provides me with several advantages above all that IntelliSense, even with added libraries. To do this it will be necessary to add the path of the library in the file that I detail. It would also be impossible to make the example without the ASYCNTCP library, which I also detail, which allows me to use the asynchronous TCP client. This allows me to optimize the code focused on asynchronous programming. We will see the main features of the project. The example uses both cores. The first task creates a second task that is responsible for all communication with the TCP server through the asynchronous client. The first task is responsible for controlling the interactions of the buttons of the module and send the corresponding messages to the second task. The second task, in addition to sending these messages, receives the messages from the server and processes them, in my case opening or turning off a LED. Let's see how it works. First the main task in the setup section, create a new task using the command x task create pin at toe core in the core 0. This task as I said is responsible for receiving messages from the server and the first task through the command x q receive. The communication between tasks is done through these queues. There is a queue to send messages, x queues end and another to receive and process the x queue receive messages. Here we can see how it works. First we have to have the server started, the module to start, it flashes LED 4 until it connects to the Wi-Fi, if the connection is correct with the server. LED 4 goes off and we can see how the connection identifier appears on the server application. When we press button 2, the module sends the corresponding message to the server. It responds immediately with another message activating LED 2. As we can see the same happens with the LED 1. Also if we press them at the same time, we can also send a personalized message by performing two actions, in this case activated LED 3 and 4. After doing the same thing, deactivating them. In the description of the video I leave a link with the source code used in the example. If I receive many likes I can create another video thoroughly explained the code. Thanks for watching.